Hey guys, Gwynedd here, back for MPDC 1501, bringing a game two of the finals between Don Fluzo and Haiku. Um, Don Fluzo won the first one, and here we go for the second one. And not surprisingly, Haiku chose to play first, and Don Fluzo mulligans down to six, and Haiku kept his original seven. Alright, so Haiku's going to lead off with a Flare Husk. And Don Fluzo answers with Flare Husk of his own. Back to Haiku. He's just going to swing in here to see if Don Fluzo decides to block. He does not. And Haiku's going to... Oh, interesting. He's playing an Ickle Wellspring of his own. Alright. Didn't, didn't realize he had any of those in his list. And looks like Don Fluzo sighted into Ancient Grudge. Uh, this was a card that um, I did not end up using in my deck this week, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have. I think it's, um, while it's comparable to Manic Vandal, if you've got the ability to flash it back, it, it's certainly certainly worthy of consideration. Um, that said, there will be times when maybe having a 2-2 creature would be better than the ability to uh, use the artifact destruction twice. So anyway, let's see what happens. So Don Fluzo will strike in here for one, and back on his turn, Haiku's going to play out a Frexian Rager. One of the few cards left really in the metagame that you get a nice 2-2 creature and also get a great uh, enters the battlefield ability um, with, of course, Skyfisher and uh, Seagate Oracle and some of the other cards like that from Zendikar block gone. There actually aren't that many of these left, but this certainly is a solid one if you're playing black. Alright, back on Don's turn, he's going to go ahead and use Incinerate on the Rager, and just continue to swing in with his little germ token. And Haiku is going to answer, looks like with a Gravedigger, returning the Rager to his hand. And then back on his turn, Don finds himself an Icar Wellspring, and that's it. In response, Haiku swings in with the Gravedigger, back on his turn. And Don will take two. And then Haiku's going to go ahead and play the Phyrexian Rager. And as he does so, uh, Fluzo goes ahead and kills it off with the Blast. And then Haiku follows it up with a Perilous Mirror. Back on his turn, Don Fluzo's going to go ahead and swing with the Germ Token. Uh, makes sense that the Perilous Mirror blocks, he just gets pinged for two, not a big deal. Pretty much a free attack there. Um, and now Haiku continues. Attack with his two creatures. Dropping Don down to 14. And then is able to add a Glenhawk to his side. Bouncing Maker Wellspring, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's the only thing that would make sense. And then here, looks like, oh, he'll go ahead and use Brimstone Volley to get Glenhawk off the battlefield. Again, since he has a hard time interacting with Flyers, it makes sense just to get it off as quickly as possible. And that allows Don to go ahead and swing in here. Actually, it looks like he's going to go ahead and flashback Ancient Grudge first. Presumably, is he going after the Perilous Mirror here? I'm actually not sure. Oh, okay. I'm, excuse me. He's actually playing out Think Twice. That makes a lot more sense, actually. And then plays out a second Flyer Husk. And swings in here with the Germ Token. And as an instant, looks like, ah, I see, Haiku's playing Village Bellringer. Interesting choice. This is one that I initially thought was going to be really, really good. So far, playing with it, I haven't been real impressed. But it's certainly a nice combat trick to be able to flash it onto the battlefield and untap your creatures and, and get some good blocks in that your opponent wasn't expecting. So he'll untap the Gravedigger and the Perilous Mirror, and he'll get to take out that Germ Token for Freeze, which is certainly nice. And... Now on his turn, plays out a Flare Husk of his own. Presumably he'll go ahead and equip onto his Perilous Mirror, and then he can swing in with all three, which he does. And drops Don Fuzo down to nine. On his turn, Don's, now he's going to go ahead and use the Ancient Grudge, and he is targeting the Perilous Mirror. And presumably here, then Haiku will go ahead and blow up the Germ Token, but he might just hit his opponent, which is actually what he does. And then Don Fuzo finds a second germ token. Uh, 
but goes ahead and holds back with his 1-1. One, one. I'm not sure why there, actually. I think it would have been... I don't think either of his creatures were untapped. Anyway, doesn't matter. All right, here... He'll swing in with the Gravedigger and the Bell Ringer. Don has no real good blocks. He's just going to go ahead and chump off with the Gravedigger. And Don is down to six. And Haiku adds a Doom Traveler to his side. Um, probably there, unless he's holding mana back for a reason. Um, even if he is, I probably would have gone ahead and equipped his Flare Husk. The Doom Traveler would have made for a better block. Although, I suppose, maybe he wants it to die so he has a Spirit Token. I don't know. On his turn, Don Pluzo finds a second Think Twice. And then just passes the turn back. And so now he's going to go ahead and suit up the Doom Traveler. And swing in with all three. <clears throat> Don Pluzo goes ahead and uses Incinerate on the Grave Digger. Um, and takes three. Yeah, goes ahead and takes three here. And then back on his turn, he's going to go ahead and suit up the germ token with various equipment and just pass the turn back and then Haiku actually has a pacifism and that is where Don Fluzo concedes so much faster game two um, Haiku won pretty pretty handily there um, Don really not never got anything going looks like he just drew into a lot of land so that was game two I'll be back in a minute for game three <laughs> 